everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back on my channel. Today's video is going to be my April favorites. So I will be sharing with you everything that I've been discovering or loving this month. There's quite a few things that are actually high-end, but kind of makes sense since in the beginning of the month there was a decent forest sale, so I've been testing out a lot of those products and I decided to share with you my favorites. This one actually isn't new, but I've been rediscovering the Benefit Rocketeur uh, blush. When I did my blush tag, I just remembered loving this blush and I haven't touched it in so long and I was like why and I'm actually wearing it today and I just love this kind of warmth rose gold blush it's quite unique it, once you go through the uh, shimmery overlay it becomes just this beautiful like warm I mean it's kind of a coral color actually but I just love the way it looks on my cheeks it lasts all day long I love the color I basically rediscovered it and wore it like pretty much every day after that video because I don't know why I stopped using it. Let's talk about what's on my eyes. I've been wearing the Tarte Tartelet in Bloom palette. I'm currently wearing the first row of shadows. And as you can see, on me it's not that cool tone. I think it's really, really nice. I'm basically wearing a Jet Setter in my crease and then a Rocker on my lid and a little bit of the white just to blend it out. But I feel like it did end up looking pretty good. And is it me or this smells like chocolate? I have like the worst sense of smell ever. But it smells like chocolate. Suspicious. With that said, the shadows are really nice, really blendable. I remember trying one of their first palettes and I was like, eh, and I haven't touched their palettes that often ever since just because I wasn't impressed with the pigmentation. But for sure, they have worked on this because now the shadows are incredible. To give you an idea, like how beautiful is this? Like I adore this color right there and it's still fully on my fingers after swatching so the quality really really improved they're really easy to blend out at least the colors that i've been using i've tried pretty much every single one of them can we talk about this for a minute like have you seen my lashes i almost forgot and put false eyelashes but i was like no, no 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 i need to show this because this baby is incredible this is the new cover girl the uh, super sizer fibers mascara that you can now find in most store ah uh, Hello. <laughs> if you haven't seen my first impression, basically it doesn't flake, doesn't smudge, and it stays like this all day long. It's very easy to build up. It's not as wet as the just original uh, formula. I think I prefer this one actually because it's a little bit more dry, but I feel like the more I will wear it, the better it will get. But yeah, you can see it for yourself. A lot of you actually sent me pictures of you uh, wearing it. By the way, my Snapchat is at Emily Fox Snaps. So a lot of you were actually showing me that you found it. This is the brush. There's like two flat sides and then two two sides with like the bristle going longer towards the tip. It applies perfectly. I have zero complaint with this mask. It's just one of my new favorites. I adore it. There's nothing more to say. I've been wearing it almost every day. The only day I wasn't wearing it, I was testing out the mascara and I went back to this one. So another eye product that I've worn a lot this month has been this L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow. This one is the uh, Ember Rush. I always want to call it rose gold, basically a rose gold color. Every summer, as soon as I get a little bit of color, it's not even summer, but like I was so excited because the sun has been coming out a little bit more. And every summer I go back to this because this is the most beautiful eyeshadow ever. I have to use it just sparingly whenever I'm a little fair. And then the more tan I get, the more I can apply it because it will turn out a little orange on my skin tone because I'm a little bit more cool tone. But come on, have you seen this? This is just incredible. I adore these uh, L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. I feel like not a lot of people mention them anymore, but these are probably one of the best, if not the best, shimmery eyeshadows from the drugstore. They're like pressed pigments. They're incredible. I just wish they had, there was more colors. With that said, I'm pretty sure there's like over 12 of them, but you know what I mean? Like you always want more of the colors you're gonna wear. I feel like there's a few dark shades. I just don't reach for them. I like those light-ish shimmery shades. They're incredible. If you haven't tried this, this is like the classic shade. This one in like Hourglass Beige is also really good or there's a taupey one. I've worn it a couple times this month in videos and everybody was asking me, what are you wearing? And this is it. This is just an incredible eyeshadow. It's all super pigmented. Uh, it gives you the effect you want. There's no fallouts and it's affordable. So I've been testing out a new eyeliner this month. It's been difficult for me to actually try new products from eyeliners because I have a couple that I really like and I feel like you don't really feel like trying new things when you have already found a few things that are good but I'm really happy that I have tried the uh, Clinique Pretty Eyes Pretty Eyes Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen and Pretty Easy that's actually what shocked me like I apply this and it's so easy I feel like I don't do mistakes which I always have issues with my eyeliner. I'm actually not wearing any today. I should have, but pretty much any other videos that I filmed this month, I was wearing this. It does have a felt tip. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. Liquid eyeliner. 
it's really easy to apply. It doesn't uh, tug like uh, the Kat Von D one tends to do on me. It's a beautiful black color. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's not very intense. Doesn't move all day, flake or uh, smudges. It's removed pretty easily actually with makeup remover. So if you were interested in a new eyeliner, I recommend trying this one. Last eye region product has been an eyebrow product. I got a few during this for sale and you gave me a few ideas to get some more because I am like my brows being very cool tone and no matter what I would try, they were always like looking a little bit more warm than I would like. And actually, I feel like I've been going really intense with my brows. I probably will try to be a little bit more uh, toned down because during the summer, I like lighter brows. But I've been really liking using the Hourglass. This is the Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in the color Ash. I feel like the first day I used this was during my uh, Sephora haul and I was in shock. The color is perfect. It's a very cool tone uh, color. Worst place to actually swatch something. Can you see it? <laughs> Couldn't have done a worse job at swatching, but right there, as you can see. It is a really cool tone uh, color. This is the point though. The more you use it, the less like pointy the edges are, the more round, which makes it a little bit more difficult to use. So I have to like find a way to either start using it properly or um, I don't really want to cut it. But I feel like it did a better job the first few days before it started being more round. Let me know if you have any tips or trick, but there's also a great spoolie on the end. So far, I really like it, but like I said, I need to find a way to make it more sharp again because I feel like it's harder to use, but it does a really great job. The color's perfect, but I don't know about you, but I'm still obsessed with those nude, pinky, beigey, brownie lips. I'm hoping that during the summer I'll like change a little bit, but I feel like it's not gonna happen. My two favorites uh, for this month in liquid lipstick form would have to be Kat Von D Bow and Arrow, which I don't even know if I mentioned it in the past in other uh, monthly favorites, but I wear this a ton, which a few of you actually told me that yours seems lighter. I'm probably just uh, lighter actually, because the tanner I get, the lighter it looks, but the lighter I am, darker it looks, you know, it works. So this is what it looks like. It's gonna be brown, uh, darker brown actually on me. But it looks stunning even on like tan skin. It's like a beautiful nude color. It has a little bit of warmth to it, but it's not orange on fair skin. So it's a great color. The other one that everybody's been like asking me whenever I wear this, it's always in the description box, guys. That one is more uh, pinky mauve, as you can see. It's so beautiful. I adore this color. Once again, it looks pretty dark on me. So I'm hoping towards the summer, I'll get a little bit more color. I'm already started actually, but Hopefully, <laughs> but I'm hoping when I get a little bit more of a tan, it's gonna look a little bit more pale. It's a gorgeous color as you can see, but definitely something that would look good on absolutely anyone. This is a gorgeous color. Lip liner. I forget to mention a lot of time lip liners because I use them and I just don't mention it. I feel like it's not the first thing you see like lipstick. Anyway, with that said, I've been loving the Annabelle, um, those are Stay Sharp Self Sharpening uh, Eyeliner, Lip Liners. This one is the color Vintage, which I adore. It's probably my favorite color of the bunch, which, oh, by the way, the self-sharpening. I just did a lip swatch video on them, but you can see. Yay, sharpened. <laughs> I just think it's nice to be able to use it every time and it being really sharp and pointy. The color is kind of a uh, medium tone, like coral color which I feel like it's perfect for spring and summer. It's like an underrated type of color. I feel like it kind of reminds me a lot of a uh, liquid lipstick by Kat Von D, D Double Dare, which is always sold out. So if you can get your hands on this lip liner, it's very similar. They're super creamy. They last really well. I can actually wear this all day without feeling like my lips are like dying. Like I feel like a lot of lip liners on their own can be a little bit too much, but this one is great. So I just wanted to mention the color again because it needs more recognition. <laughs> this month I've been testing a lot the By Beauty, uh, new, their new lipstick. Those are the Amuse Bush lipstick. I'm wearing on my lips right now the color uh, Meringue, which warm nude, it's gorgeous. And the smell, every time I open this, I just want to take a bite because they smell like lemon. That's what people say. To me, it smells like pink lemonade. And the other one that I've been loving too is Sugar Cane for daily basis. This one is a bit more pink actually. Let me swatch both of them. But those are definitely my two favorite everyday color. They're really comfortable on the lips. They do dry more matte than their uh, previous lipstick that they had, the luminous ones. But they're really comfortable. Uh, they don't emphasize dryness on my lips. I haven't had any issue with this. 
I do tend to reply them after a meal because those are more neutral colors so I feel like it's more creamy and moisturizing if you reapply them after a meal but you don't necessarily need to especially the darker shades they will tend to uh, stain your lips a little bit more but those are the two colors so this is meringue and the other one is sugar cane which my two favorite everyday color for sure one last thing I want to mention I tested out two foundations this month from my Sephora cell the Giorgio Armani uh, Luminous Silk Foundation and then the Lancome Teint Idole Ultra 24 hours makeup. In both cases, actually you can even see it right now, I didn't even get any sun. Like, it just started to be a little bit more sunny and being outside five minutes, I got a bit more color and these two are actually too light. So I'm gonna have to go this weekend and exchange them. A lot of you were actually asking me which one I prefer. I think the Jill Jaramani one is better for me because I have more of a uh, dry skin. With that said, this one didn't emphasize dryness on me. But it is more of a long wear foundation, so of course, like middle of winter, I feel like this could emphasize any, some dryness. And I do notice that whenever I try to take it off, like this is not something I can easily take off with like a baby wipe or like a makeup wipe because you need some makeup remover. It's really, it's there, you know, it's on your face, which is great if you have issues with foundation like disappearing on you. This one won't. This one has more of a satin finish. It's really like it dries down to an almost powdery look. It looks amazing, doesn't emphasize any pores. This one does emphasize my pore a little bit more, but I feel, again, uh, more full coverage foundation tend to do that. You do have to apply some primer. I usually use the uh, Benefit pore Professional underneath and it works perfectly for me. So I'm just gonna have to go and exchange them, but you for sure will see these in uh, some tutorial this summer. This one looks stunning on camera, by the way. Like I adore this one, but on camera, this is just full coverage. Obviously, it's gonna make you look flawless. Those are all the new products that I've been uh, loving this month. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what are your favorite this month. Is there anything you think I should try? Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.